Despite what some in the White House are saying, there are alarming new numbers about the coronavirus in the U.S. 22 states and Puerto Rico with infections on the rise. Arizona and Texas today setting new state records for hospitalizations. Florida's numbers soaring. Here's ABC's Zareen Shaw. Tonight, coronavirus cases rising across the country. Florida setting another record, reporting 2,000 cases in 24 hours for the second day in a row. This as beachgoers continue soaking up sun in Miami. Florida's governor saying an outbreak among farm workers and increased testing in nursing homes play a role in the surge. We're doing three times as many tests a day now than we did at the end of March. But Key West's mayor citing tourist traffic. I have a concern there. Um, we would certainly like to welcome in uh, all of our tourism, but we would like it to be respectful and responsible. Across the country in Utah, the coronavirus disproportionately affecting the Hispanic community. They're 14 percent of the population, but make up 42 percent of cases. In nearby Arizona, where there have been 1,200 new cases since Saturday, some Phoenix bars and restaurants closing down for a second time, citing COVID-19 exposure. We don't net yet know what our peak is. Both Arizona and Texas setting a new record for hospitalizations among eight states seeing a rise, as 22 states and Puerto Rico see an increase in new reported cases. The challenge is that parts of the country, states like Texas, Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, where you see those outbreaks right now, never really reduced the number of cases substantially. New York, with its lowest number of hospitalizations and deaths to date, seeing 25,000 complaints filed against businesses violating social distancing and mask rules. A bar or restaurant that is violating these rules can lose their liquor license. We are not kidding around with this. You're talking about jeopardizing people's lives. And in South Carolina, tourists flocking to Myrtle Beach. Hotels there filling up to almost pre-pandemic levels, despite more than 700 new cases in that state. And Tom, we've seen those increases nationwide, but so far just Oregon and Utah delaying the next stage of reopening. Miami's mayor saying he's going to closely look at the numbers coming out of this weekend, possibly considering new measures there. Tom. So, Reen, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.